two loves in my life from like a little kid till now. And it's been fashion and film. Directors that were really seminal in my life were like John Cassavetes, Werner Herzog, and Rainer Fassbender. It's been my dream for like more than a decade to put together a fashion film festival. I remember when I was working with Alex Shedfortinsky, I worked with Disciple Films. We did collaborations. And even back then, I said I want to put together a fashion film festival. And I researched it a bit, but there just wasn't enough material out there. Nobody even knew what a fashion film was. Now every agent is telling their photographer they have to go out and they have to you know, pick up a video camera. In the past year alone, it's just like exploded. I think it's pretty clear that film is the future. As much as I would love um, fashion films to take the place of fashion shows, I think the industry moves really slow. And there's still a lot of people that think shows are fantastic, you know, that think that that's a new way of expressing, but it's an old way of expressing fashion. A new way is more creative with the films or installations. The whole idea of my festival is to show the diversity of ways you can express fashion, beauty, or style. The film has to be anywhere from 30 seconds to five minutes and fashion has to play a principal role. I want it to be extremely democratic, and I want to get films from India, Africa, you know, wherever. I like to find people and expose them, and I know it really helps. I have established directors, established houses, as well as unknowns and I think in order to promote someone that's unknown you also need to have the counterpart of someone that is known. I select the jury by experts in all the different areas. I chose Michael Nyman because he's a magnificent composer. I have Rossi De Palma because she's a fantastic actress. Mike Figgis because he's one of my favorite directors. I just think he's a revolutionary. <laughs> For the next edition, I have Rodarte, because I like to have a, a fashion designer involved as well. The film Lust Lust that won this edition, Asphalt 3, and I found this guy, and it was his uh, very first fashion film, and I just loved it. It was a unique way of expressing fashion, and it had nothing to do with a particular brand. It was all about originality. And I also noticed there are not very many comedies when it comes to fashion. And when there's a comedy, that's usually the winner. Fashion takes itself much too seriously. Well, the whole idea of A Shade of the Own Fashion Film is to create a platform for directors and designers to express themselves and to inspire and to be inspired. I mean, the idea in the beginning was, let's show some films and the people that are watching the films are gonna go out and get their little mini DV cameras or their big cameras and go out and make a film. That's the idea. Or you make it on your mobile phone. It doesn't matter. You just have an idea and just go for it and just, have blinders on until you get there. And no matter what um, obstacles you come up against, you just keep going because if you believe in what you're doing, you'll get there. I chose Stefan Siegel as someone I think is capable of changing the landscape of fashion. He has a website and the focus of that website is to promote emerging talents. And he has now I think around 6,000 designers and 
about 16 million hits a month, which is quite remarkable. Not Just Label is, um, I think, the leading global talent um, launch platform for young fashion designers. The idea was really simple, let's just create a platform where the leading um, fashion designers um, of tomorrow can upload their collections and showcase them. And um, parts of the industry such as um, the press buyers, um, shoppers, and investors, they can look for designers and, and it was a really simple idea and overall it worked and, and now we're done three years into business and uh, yeah, I can't believe how, how big it became. What I like about the internet is the uh, democratizing of fashion because before you had 300 to 500 privileged people allowed to see the shows. Now, because of the impact of blogging and the internet, it's no longer exclusive. So you can be anywhere and you have a platform. Uh, you have your own site or you are on the side of someone like Stefan Segal, not just a label. And you can be anywhere. You can be in Riga and people can know who you are. Thanks to blogs or people like Diane Perné, the, the industry became almost a very instant business where um, from creation to actually selling a piece um, there were only hours or days in between while um, years ago you had to wait seasons and, and so on. Good fashion shows where people can go and actually touch and feel fashion will remain crucial to the industry but I think we can live without a lot of elements of the so-called old-fashioned world and, and move on to newer things. So landscape of fashion needs to change, I think, because for the past 10 years, it's been practically entirely in the hands of corporations. What Stefan is doing is taking it away from businessmen as running the design to putting it in the hands of creativity, because really that's what fashion is about. And I think that's what makes him rather unique. He wants to go against the system. He wants to make his own system. We set up the company because we felt um, there's certain patterns and, and molds that just need to need to be erased from, from the fashion industry. And we, we wanted to change things. We, we could not understand why it was so hard for fashion designers to be discovered. And um, not just the label did not have a market before we created our own market and now it became an indis indispensable tool for young fashion designers and I really hope that we change something in the industry. The quality about him that I like the most and I think is similar with mine is we have integrity, we believe in what we do and we work non-stop but we don't feel like we work at all because we do what we love. It's a matter of being an original not following someone, but setting your own path.